Hello there and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Enough of intro. Let's begin. So the first things first that is mixing these two clays, the resin and the hardener. So what I have to do is just mix this. So while mixing, the trick I suggest is that mix it like this, as is in just pressing it like this. That while pressing it, this might you know bring some strain or might might give some pain to your fingers. Uh, it doesn't happen when you are mixing such small amounts, but if you are mixing large amounts of clay, then that surely will happen. So what I always suggest is roll this. I just suggest to you know keep your hands or keep your wrists in a locked position, and just then move your shoulders. Just simply like this. I mainly do this because this does not put too much strain on my wrist. You have to mix it until this becomes completely white. I have various comments on my beginner's tutorial video where people said that uh, even after mixing and around after you know two hours the clay was just soft it didn't harden because this material usually hardens in around one, one and a half hour right um, so basically that happens because when we don't mix it properly or just we mix it in haste or we just don't mix it properly and unless and until we get this white color so you, it usually doesn't happen maybe i mean there might be a problem with the clay or something like that also this clay has its own expiry date right so you have to use it within it within that time you, you can just read it at the box or at the packet you can see that this is the new clay and see how soft it is and this this one has been with me for around more than one year i had this packet remaining so now you can see that this top portion is so hard right inner portion is a little bit soft but you cannot work with this because when you go to mix this the sharp portions will just hurt your hands so just so just use your clay when you buy it within three four months or maybe in more time also i have said this in my previous video as well that this clay does not stick to plastic what i have done is just added some sedative to this paper and what i'll do is just add clay to this and as you can see it doesn't stick best application to this you know is like if you just you know just spread your clay like this and allow it to dry for around two hours and then after you can see that the clay will come out like this and it will also have this lustrous finish and you can just paint and do whatever you want you can have a plate so you can also design you can make a square we'll surely make a video on this a different video on this as well and with the same plastic technique with the help of plastic and mold it you can also create a pen stand like this so if you guys want to know how i created this i have a special dedicated video for this do check it out also for mold it we have to use some tools but you can also create tools with mold it and for mold it so for example i've created some tools like this one you can use this one to spread a mold it as well and it's very easy to make these tools like i have made this uh, this circle tool which with the help of that I can you know create designs like this and again this one over here these are very easy ones like what you have to do for this is just it's just you have to roll it like this and just then poke it with a pencil and over here your circle tool will be ready simple I will be creating a dedicated video for this as well. Now what you have to do is just add a mold it on a plastic surface and use a paint tool to make any design that you want. Example like this, whatever you can, I mean, whatever designs you want, you can make it. And then allow it to dry. And after drying, you'll, you know, I had made this design before, you'll get it like this. And then you can use this to create design on your mold it, for example like this see it's very easy you can get n number of designs and you can get whatever you want you can also create your name stamps with this technique as well see that's my name and it's written handmade over there so you can create this i have two videos dedicated to this those videos are in hindi but i have arranged subtitles as well but if you need those videos to be made in english as well then please do comment over there I, if 
if the response is too much then i'll surely make those videos in, in english as well also many have asked this on my tutorial videos that whether we can create something with this clay and we can stick it on a board whether it may be a canvas board or a cardboard board or a mdf board whatever for for that i've taken two cardboards over here why two i'll show you first thing is that there are two ways to do this first you can just add your clay like this on it take some water and then just spread the clay like this so that it sticks completely like this somewhat like this i had already done this before like this and other thing which you guys might have done this many times that is just stick it when it is in its sticky phase try to do these things when you are just kneaded the clay or just mix the clay if you try to do this after around one hour after mixing and i guess that won't give you the expected result this one i had spread it and this one is normal so if you do it normally there are chances you can easily remove it off like this but with this it's not possible only if you try to do like this so the cardboard will come out so in both the cases you can see that it can be removed but i would suggest always suggest that to make it separately and then stick it with the help of some glue the usually i suggest using instant adhesive so this might happen and again this thing might happen with you and many times that while working on this clay the time that you get is very less so many times you try to make something and time becomes less and just you know you generate a lot of waste not a lot of if you if you plan properly the waste won't be generated but if sometimes that happens that uh plan sometimes planning even even planning fails right or sometimes you use most of the clay and only small piece like this remains so what i do what i suggest is never throw these away you have to just keep it like this because you can then later use this to add weights to your base or something to add the skeleton to add as a skeleton or as a base or as a inner filling for your other creations like for example this one i had created Uh, this is my attack titan bust no sorry no uh, yeah yeah right so for in here inside uh, i had added all various like this various uh, waste pieces like this so that also gave weight for me and it also helped me you know to make him stand properly like this so that's one way of saving it and another way is when you have excess clay what i always suggest to do is create rods like this for example you all have to do this on a plastic surface i always suggest to do this on a plastic surface just create normal rods now you know that you are not going to use this clay it's almost around if you think that it's almost around more than one and a half hour and you have to throw this clay because it's not going to be used so i suggest them to throw it just create rods like this or i would suggest to create plates like this over here and allow it to dry completely like this now why these rods and why these plates because whenever if you are making any human character or any animal character or whatever you can use this as a skeleton rather than using any other bendy wires or something you can just use it take how much as you want for example this can be break, breakable you can use this as a base skeleton and then you can add your clay above it so that it does not go waste and it can be also it can be used for something good as well also if you want to increase the drying time usually the drying time is one and a half hours right so if you want to increase it then then after you have mixed the clay what you have to do is just dip it in water like this and then you can allow it to rest for some time make sure you do this within 30 minutes after mixing the clay how i found out about this was during rainy season uh, my hardener you can see over here it's quite more sticky and over here with the part which is inside it's normal it's hard over here you can see this uh, moisture there is a moisture content on it so when i mix this one then the clay you know used to take a little more time to dry out usually it took around approx 2 hours to dry out completely thus giving more time to work on it if you're working in a humid climate or if you're working in a monsoon area and if you don't want your clay to be more sticky then you can make sure to store your clay in a tight sealed box that will help you know not make the clay catch moisture like this 
and hence you can use it freely still it will catch some moisture but it can you know you can prevent it by storing it in a box so there are some few tricks and techniques that you can use while working on this clay of course there are many more and i'll surely keep on making videos on this and as i keep on discovering more and more tricks tricks and techniques and also thanks a lot for the amazing response that you guys have given to my old uh, beginners tutorial video if you haven't checked it out please check it out and also thank you for the response that you guys are giving me on my youtube channel as well also this clay can be a bit troublesome to work on mainly because of its drying time but i suggest that just keep trying keep practicing because this clay is fun and it's very durable when you when it gets hard so you can get amazing things from it and just just go by your own pace don't try to get in any race just completely enjoy your work you will surely enjoy this process and you can create amazing things from this clay as well and i always try to make as many videos as possible when i'm learning new new things while working on this clay so keep supporting as always and see you next time with a new creation